Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you feel refreshed. I certainly do. I went outside and the sun is literally shining here in The Hague. So that was really delightful. Um, spring is on its way. Um, so hopefully you feel refreshed. Uh, I see funny um, reactions, nice reactions on the chat about the music. What kind of music is this? Um, Darth Vader. <laughs> But I can tell you it's music of the Pirates of the Caribbean. So um, in, in the same atmosphere, lightly, slightly. Now, uh, I'm happy to announce uh, the following. The following session as the Nemo Science Museum in Amsterdam has something unique for you. Now, as a kid, I used to go to Nemo and it was called Nint at the time. I'm getting older and I was fascinated by all the hands-on experiments that you can do there yourself. They really make the importance of science and technology accessible for young and old. Now, I hope you have all your supplies together. You need um, sticky tape, paper, and a pencil, and um, scissors. So I hope you have that with you. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And I also wanted to tell you that you can please make a picture uh, when you've finished with your experiment, because at the end of today, during the wrap up, we'd really like to see your pictures of what you've been making and creating, and we can share these pictures in the chat with each other. Now, uh, I hope you've got your supplies all together, because then I'd like a very warm welcome for one of our Nemo experts, Meta Lepelaar. Meta. Hi, hello there. Hello. Nemo, in Amsterdam. Ah, could you come Thank a bit you closer? For yes. Us. Hello, hello, Meta. I believe they call you Meta Data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a nickname. It's like the Meta Data about me I shared with you in my little introduction story. Great. This is so cool. You're actually in the museum, which is closed. Um, so this is really yeah. special. Um, just one question. What do you enjoy most of, of working at this fantastic museum? Oh, what I enjoy most is discovering, usually with visitors in the museum, all kinds of new sites of science and technology. Because very often visitors give us insights and inspirations that we didn't expect or didn't, didn't anticipate on, and then we start experimenting even more. So that's the best of working in AMO. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, uh, I wish you a great session together with the participants, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Enjoy. Thank you for the introduction. So let's start this demonstration, this little science experiment that we are going to do maybe also a little bit together. So follow me a little bit, because what I would like to do is do experiments with everyday life things, because that's what we do here in Nemo. And I would like to start with some steel wool. Now, steel wool, steel wool, you can clean stuff with it, but you can also set it aflame which is more fun, to be honest. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do, I would like to ask you a question for the poll. When we set this steel wool aflame, what will happen to the weight of it? Will it get A, lighter, B, heavier, or C, it remains the same? Now, let's just do the experiment and find out. Because as I said, can you do this at home? Mm -hmm. Maybe not, because you need this super duper scale. This scale can measure three digits behind the dot. Mine doesn't do that at home. So let's put this, see if I can get this more to zero, a little bit more accurate. accurate. There we go. If I put the steel wall on it, you can see on the scale, you can see it's almost one and a half milligrams. Okay, what will happen if I set it to flame? We're going to find out now. And just have a good look at it because 
it's not only a good experiment, it's also a beautiful experiment. So here we go. When you look at the scale, you can see it went down and then it went up again. Just mesmerized by the flames, right? Me too. Now, when we wait, just wait until it's all burnt out. Okay, here we go. I can see the pole, and you were right. It got heavier. It went from 500 milligrams to even 700. See, it's changed quite a bit. It's gone heavier quite a bit. And I can see at the pole that most of you were right. You probably knew this. But maybe I can take you with me a little bit more because not only is it beautiful to look at when it's a flame, but also maybe, yeah, I'm trying to hold this very, do you see those little round bits? That's all the melted steel wool. Gorgeous. Okay. Now, I've read about the new supercomputer that you are all introducing. You'll have a little sneak peek later on. Um, and it reduces, it uses less energy, I read. Very clever. So I thought of durability, and we all know this sign. This is the reduce, reuse, recycle sign. But this sign is based on a Mobius strip, a Mobius band, you might call it as well. And I thought, let's do some experiments with this Mobius because it's really cool. And that's where the paper, the scissors, if you don't have a pair of scissors, no problem, you can fold and tear just as well. I have some sticky tape. For me, I have it like this. If you need to cut it off, that's fine. Just cut off three bigger pieces and four very small pieces. And when I did this at home, I just stick them. Oh, let's see here. At the table at the bottom, so you can take them off. Okay, so let's cut the strips. Three strips, right? Yes, that's what I said. Three strips. Okay, here we go. About three centimeters. Doesn't have to be really, really, really. We don't have to measure this out. Let's just put it like that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, and we're done, almost. Now, a piece of paper has two sides. When you stick the sticky tape to one side, and you fold it together like this. How many sides does it have? Obviously, two sides, an outside and an inside. Now, a pair of scissors. Oh, you do need a pair of scissors. Silly me. When you cut the two strips, please join me because I know a lot of you are thinking, I know where this goes. When you cut this, you get two rings. Simple. True. Two rings, but bear with me because it gets better. Okay, here we go. The next strip, we are going to make a Mobius ring. So put the sticky tape on one end again. Fold the Mobius strip, but give it half a turn and stick it together like so. Now, how many sides does this little ring or band have and I thought I had a pen somewhere in my preparation I had a pen <laughs> so if you have a pen what you do is you draw a line you start on the inside it's the easiest I'm not sure if I can show you this I think so like this and you just tear the paper underneath your pen and you just keep on drawing until you get to a fold or until you get back to where you started drawing this line. Okay, here we go. Almost there, I am, are you? Yes. Now, 
cut the Mobius strip on the line that you've just drawn. And maybe most of you will know what happens. Okay, here we go. It stays in one piece. Now there's a little present from me to you about this phenomenon. And you can open it when you're done. One more. Um, I see I don't have too much time left. So we're going to do another experiment where we can sort of recycle in the sense that uh, we can go back and forth. Now, if you decide ever to cook some red cabbage like this, take some of the cooking juices out before you add anything else to it. You get this beautiful purple cabbage juice. You put it in a cylinder. You can create your own pH indicator. Add something sour and it turns a beautiful pink. Add something base, and it turns into green, beautiful green. Now let's try if we can, if we can make it back and forth again. There you go. The cabbage was not on the list, which is right. But tomorrow evening, maybe during dinner, you eat the red cabbage and you can do this experiment and surprise everybody at the dinner table. And we can make it green again. And if you are very, very careful, let's see if I can make it happen here. You can try and create the neutral. This takes a little bit more time and a little bit more precision. And maybe, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But, ah, there it goes. Blue, it's blue. There you go. It's neutral because it's blue. And if I pour some more vinegar or lemon juice, you can see the pink spiraling in the blue. Really, really nice. Okay. Now, I want to leave you with one last little bitty experiment with a Möbius strip. And I have two Möbius strips. I stuck them together like this. Oh, let's do this. Hang on. Yeah. If we stick the two bands that you have from the ring together like so, and you cut them, something really, really cool happens. Okay. Now, I'm trying to do this very quickly because I realize the time is flying by. And now, some of you might already anticipate what happens. If you do, I hope you love this just as much as I do, because two rings make a square. And two Mobius rings make, now let me see if I can cut this, I'll just cut it here. And this is especially, oops, <laughs> because I'm trying to do this very quickly because I haven't got much time left. It's getting a little bit wonky. Anyway, I hope this works. Okay, here we go. And one more cut. With, I have to unfold this a little bit. Now, see, this is, do you recognize this? When you prepare something, it always goes right. And then when you do it 
totally different story. Here we go. Two hearts with a heartfelt. <laughs> there we are. With a heartfelt greeting from me and us at Nemo here to all you at SURF. Thank you for having us and enjoy the rest of your seminars.